Hi everybody, this is Rose of Sharon, and boy oh boy, I have the greatest Boxing Day gift of all for all of you. Yesterday I had a chance to watch Soul, which came out and premiere on Christmas, which is perfect, and I had wanted to see this in the cinema, because I miss actually going to the cinema, it's one of my favorite places, but I have to say that, that watching it by myself um, was actually more of a treat than I, I expected. And given on the trailers, I thought, yeah, I kind of know what to expect. And I was very pleasantly surprised. It was something that um, literally took my breath away. And it's just such a masterpiece. I think that this is the pinnacle of Pixar's entertainment. And it's a very esoteric, um, dare I say, spiritual um, film. And I'm, I'm not going to talk about the actual premise of the movie because I don't want to give it away if you haven't seen it. If you're a fan of Pixar, then this is a must-see. If just for the music alone and voice acting because the actors are just phenomenal and the animation is so beautiful I mean it just literally <laughs> leaves you with the sense of wonder which is what I love about um, the renaissance of Disney that's the feeling that this film gave me and it was something that I thought had been missing for a long time in Disney films um, that's what I miss about not seeing 2D, like Princess and the Frog, and I know a lot of people criticize that movie, but it's actually one of my favorites. But uh, I just thought that this movie was tremendous in every way, shape and form, with its character development, its story, the music. I think the music is the... Um, the main character in a manner of speaking. I'm not going to say why, but it's also very interesting because it's got a black lead played by Jamie Foxx as Joe Gardner, and he's a band teacher, but this band teacher actually longs for more, and he really feels like he's doing the best he can, and the perspective of this film. There are a lot of moments in this movie I was just saying, goodness, that's deep. <laughs> it was profound. And there are a lot of things that I learned from the film. And I consider myself a very profound thinker. And it even just knocked my socks off <laughs> this, in the manner of which they were discussing this topic. And um, it just... Deserves my highest grade. Two thumbs way up, five stars, hands down. No budging, no. No nags. No snags. There's nothing in this movie that even considerably resembles a flaw. Everything about this movie is just so colorful and crisp and beautiful and just so resplendent to look at. It's a treat for the eye as well as for the ears. And <laughs> I just, I love how basically it's a movie about, um, self-discovery. I'm just going to put that out there. That's just a little bit of a spoiler alert. Just a tiny one. Not enough to give the whole film away because I can't do that, but <laughs> it's it's a movie about self-discovery. Self um, I can't say that much else about Soul other than as a musician, I absolutely loved it. I cried. I cried. Um, I'm not going to say what actually made me cry, but I cried. Um, it has a lot of lessons for everybody and it's for 
all ages. Anybody can relate to this. It's it's really, <laughs> it's extremely deep. It really is. It, it makes you think. And um, a lot of films really don't engage you like that. And, and this one does. And it, it definitely makes you want to pause and just take a moment and <laughs> ask yourself the important questions. <laughs> I'm not going to say what those are, but if you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. But uh, other than that, I can't say that much else about Soul. So until next time, live long and prosper. Ciao,